What is up guys? Welcome back. Michael, my assistant, and Brandon here, <laughs> West Texas hunting guys, um, coming to you for bow season hunting video. Bow season deer. Bow, deer bow hunting video. All, all hunting video. It's, <laughs> it's mid-October. Um, we had a cold spell that is now gone. We're back in the heat of things. We got a heat spell. It's been lasting for a few months. <laughs> We're in the middle of a heat spell. It's a little bit windy today. You might hear some of it on the video, but um, but it's a good day to hunt. We're getting some regular deer on camera. We do. Uh, both your boys here got tags in the pocket, ready to go. We're gonna be splitting up. Uh, we're going solo camera work, so we'll see how that goes. Um, it'll probably be seamless, don't even worry about it. Uh, but we got bucks coming in both spots, like you said, so we're gonna hope to, hope to shoot something tonight. Yeah. Boom. Dare you to follow along. Action! Well, my foot try to get, do it again. My foot didn't get high enough. Yeah, try to get. No, are you gonna hurt me? No, I won't touch you. Action! Did I, get I, don't, it? I don't think it's hot Watch again. Watch this. Action! I'll just do all the work. You know what? There's an outside chance that I still smell like steak, that George's steak fingers. So I need you to spray me down with that scent killer to, that otherwise I'll attract bears. Oh, I'll spray you down for a lot of reasons. Because of the bears? All right, we're all loaded up packed up with all our stuff. We got camera equipment, we got bows, and we're ready to roll. All right, I'll be out here trying to get after it. Here we are. show podcast going got to listen to something when you got two hours of waiting around
Well, that was a super eventful morning. Um, hopefully Michael had some luck at his spot over there. Um, I'm gonna make my way to our meeting point and then I'm gonna recap with him what went on because it was a crazy morning. Watch two good bucks. All right, live action. Um, Michael hasn't heard about my morning yet. All, all you fine people saw my morning. Um, but you said that, uh, well, you, you'll see some of my stuff on, uh, on footage, but I watched the spike almost all morning. He was there for probably an hour and a half. We had really good moonlight, so you could Super s bright. basically see everything. Um, I don't know if it should show up really great on camera, but, but we had really good moonlight. Watch this spike. Uh, he got older and more mature, better looking as the morning went on. <laughs> I know that. I almost friend. drew back on him. I know that. Because I was like, friend. does his spike fork at one point? But anyways, um, sure enough, you know, he kind of watched me. Uh, you know, I did what I normally do when I have a deer in front of me and tested the sound situation at 19 yards. That was pretty amazing. But <laughs> but then then the deer, the deer that we've been watching. We, we affectionately call him Midland Numero or uno. Tall City, USA. Numero uno on our hit list. I mean, he's he's just, an, he's an eight point, but he's really tall. He's I'm mature. A, I, I'm gonna plug in this video right now. Maybe we'll keep, we can keep talking over it, but um, if not, I'll plug in the video right here so you can kind of see. The problem was I'm looking at the feeder and I see the spike kind of strip, like stress out and kind of flex up. And I, I look, I peep through a side window um, and there he is crossing right behind me, which I didn't have anything open up behind me. I was trying to black myself out. So then I was trying to figure out a way to do it, but there was just no, there's, so I got a little bit of footage of him just so that I could show Brandon. It's freaking cool he saw him in person though. Yeah, tried tried to open up the door to see, I was like, oh, maybe I can get a spot stock, but uh, you know, tried to drag my finger with the zipper, just didn't work out. Trying to nickel. <laughs> my turn now, and in, in my experience, Pull the chair. No, I had you to no, just stand. I'll just stand. <laughs> <laughs> Pull up close for the campfire, boys and girls. So we get uh, to our spot here and we go our separate ways. We split off. And I, and of course, I'm loaded to the brim for bear and camera and everything else. And worse for bear. Yeah, I get, <laughs> I get to about 100 yards and I look down and there's a freaking big old hog. No. Big old freaking hog sitting right there. And I'm like, well, crap. Like, I got my bow sling on. I got. I hey, can got, I say, I, I don't know if you heard, I haven't heard of this story. So this is no, fresh yeah, to this, me, this too. Is the first time him hearing this. So big old hog. I'm like, crap. So I kind of squat down the road because there's a road that leads right to the feeder. So I kind of squat down and I wait. The wind is 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 left to right instead of uh, heading towards it, which is good. So I had good wind. Um, I. Like he's just hanging out. I'm like, gosh dang it! If Did Michael you take was your here, bow out? if Michael was here, we'd do a spot and stock on camera. But I'm not trying to, like, I I wanted a, a camera shot. So I wait. I pull the camera out eventually, but it's doing all this autofocus nonsense. So I uh, slowly am creeping down the road to him. Um, I get within probably about 50 yards and he starts walking up the road to me. I'm like, <laughs> I am trying to think what I should do here. Oh, you gave a chicken, am I, I still, right? <laughs> I still have my bow out at this point. I'm like, I don't know what to freaking do here. Um, and then I look off and there's another big old boar about 30 yards behind him. They weren't together, they just met up at the social spot. If you guys are thinking it, I'm asking it. At what point have you taken the sling off and pulled your bow out? It had not happened yet. <laughs> At that point, I was like, could I fashion the camera tripod into a blunt object and yam him in the face? Because uh, it's like, you know, it's dark and it's a little unnerving being that close to a boar. And he's looking at me, but I, I'm pretty sure he didn't see me because I was stealth mode. Uh, anyways, like he kind of starts walking him back away from me back. So I was like, okay, this is my chance to get closer to um, him. So I. I creep down. I actually, while he's behind the feeder, I get into the blind like a freaking ninja boss. <clears throat> uh, but the green light wasn't like it was working okay, but not great. Um, feel free to cut out any of this if we need to. It's a long story, but it's worth it. We hit four and a half minutes. All right, it's keep, fine. Keep going. You're it's losing. Good, you're it, losing us. No, 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 not, no. You're not it, losing. It's actually us. a good story, and it gets better. Do big bucks impress you? Okay, well then stay tuned. <laughs> 
Um, so anyways, this big old freaking boar is standing 15 yards in front of me, still as a statue eating corn, like legit. But the green light wasn't on and I couldn't get it on camera. So I was like, I'm gonna wait until the green light freaking comes on so I can shoot him. Like it was on, but it just wasn't It was on, just not lit up, lit up yeah. So um, after about 20 minutes of him literally standing broadside in front of me, the thing, uh, the the light finally went on, and I think part of it is he was standing so still eating. So, oh, you got somewhere to be? Don't worry about that. Oh, go ahead, keep talking. Don't don't do this. Right yep. now. Don't, just be I'm present. Just checking. I I know what you're doing, but we're an hour away from that place, so just be present. Um, so the light finally pops on. I draw back. I'm squeezing the trigger. <laughs> I as I shoot. He turns, because he was a little bit according to, mm. he turns. I freaking ham chopped him right in the back door. <laughs> <laughs> so right? you let an arrow loose. I, uh, there's only two arrows oh. here. I, let I am an, trying to think. I let an arrow loose right in his back door. He didn't even you yell. You got it on video? I got it on video. Okay, watch this video. Um, they've already seen it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. You haven't seen. I've seen it. I have not bit. seen it. But he takes off. My lit knock is just bounding around. So we're gonna go check it out here in a minute because okay. I don't know what's going, what's gonna happen there. But my thought process is what, like, look, I've got to freaking get him out of here because we're trying to shoot bucks, right. and he would have been there for the whole time. So he takes off. Where did he take off? Up the drop? Uh, he up the hill. Um, kind of up towards the road, actually, uphill right. Not, yeah. So like, okay. Yeah. So we'll go off. Just like that doe and, then. Yeah, but a little more north. Anyways, so about 20 minutes later, um, uh, a couple of... Wait, we're seven minutes into this. It's okay. Thing. It's a going. good story, people. A couple minutes, or about 20 minutes later, a couple of doe come in. I was like, oh, okay. These are the doe that we're used to seeing here. <laughs> they look to the side, and our boy, the 10 point, comes in. Our 10 point comes D in. Well, no, just just shut up about it. Okay. Because it's like you. I I was going back and forth, my friend, for about 45 minutes. I could have shot him 17 times. But he's not quite as mature as we'd like him to be. Like he's a three and a half year old deer. Ah. I I know, trust me. I know. D I was having just all so you guys know, this is this is a fairly new deer that we've seen show up. We've First got, time we've seen him in person ever. We've we've got or what we thought was three shooters. He's a he's our newest one. But yeah. even on the photos we we've been looking at this and talking back and forth as to whether or not we thought he was mature. Or not. So he's walking around for a while and then he looks up. All right, check out these videos of the 10 point. Yeah, they've already seen it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, uh, the 10 looks up and off the side is a bigger buck. And I was like, WTH is going on <laughs> And what, I, thought it, I thought it was Midland um, because it looked just like him. In fact, I even said, oh, that's Midland. So he comes in, it was not Midland, it was a guy it was a nine, um, but he had a fork on his his G2, um, like a big fork. So, anyways, he came in. He was pro he was a four and a half year old, four and a half, five and a half year old. Like he was a mature deer, um, but he would never come to the front. He was he was within range, but he was so jumpy and going all behind the feeder. Um, no, I know. I actually. Uh, again, I finally got to a point where I could draw on him. He was at, at 22 yards to do the back right of that feeder. I get up, camera's on. Right as I go to draw, he spooks off. It, it actually didn't spook off, he chased a doe. He was like full rut. It was crazy actually. Wow. Dude, he was going around sniffing, he was grunting. Like it was freaking ah, awesome. I have not seen the video yet. Uh, you guys have obviously seen it by now. They, they've seen it. <laughs> we'll fill them in later. Uh, but oh my gosh! Eventually, he ended up chasing, like chasing doe up the hill back towards this so way. So we haven't seen. I guess he'll be on camera. We had not seen him. Uh, a Damn nine point five on one side, four on this. Kind of a tall, tall, slender. He wasn't super wide, but tall and slender. Um, just like, just like we like him, <laughs> deer. So anyways, uh, I don't care that we didn't shoot a buck because we both had freaking awesome encounters and I pork chopped a hog in the butt we're gonna go try to find. Sounds like you had a better morning than I me. had a great morning, although I had a lot of inner conflict. So I had, shoot him, like he would walk off, the 10 would walk off 
I'm like, oh gosh, he looks so freaking good. I should have shot him. And then he'd come back in. I'd be like, oh, he looks a little smaller than I thought. They'd go off. Oh, he looks big. So it was, it was freaking fun. It was freaking awesome. And this is going to be a good season. We are both going to get a good buck. I can't wait to see the videos that you guys have already seen. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all. If, okay. this, if this is the last time we see you, stay tuned. Not, not stay tuned. Like, subscribe. Whoa. That was pretty good. I know. Uh, I did that come back and watch because we're going to keep hammering. <laughs>